and welcome back to my channel and yes I am in the car again because it is still the school holidays and I had the decision of do I record this video now and go out into my car and record it or do I wait until next week when everyone's back at school and since one of my challenges is to post weekly videos I figured I need to go and just go and sit in the car and post this and it's totally fine so you might get some cars going past me that's just how it is because to film in my house would be absolute chaos there's too many people it's too noisy so i'm just going to talk about 2023 how that went where i'm up to now and my plans for 2024 so 2023 it feels like every time i talk about how the year went it's always gone really hard and 2023 was no exception it was still hard and it was still challenging and yeah i don't know what happened it was just did not go how it was supposed to go but that's life so some of the things that happened 2023 for me is i got behind with my writing schedule just because of life lots of personal things that happened it was just the way it went i felt overwhelmed a lot through 2023 with what i was trying to do and i did not write as many words as i aim to write and i did not write as many words as i usually write and i think a lot of that was overworking myself being overwhelmed and then that was just affecting my mental health and it was just a cycle of not being able to write getting behind and then because I was behind trying to write more and then because I was trying to write more I was too tired and then so I wasn't able to write and it was just this horrible cycle that I got into that made it quite an unproductive year for me last year across two pen names I think I had three books released which is n no maybe four books but either way that is not what I usually managed to achieve and it's not what I had set out to do and it's fine I got things done but I did not achieve things I wanted to achieve. I had some crappy mental health stuff going on. I just had some stuff going on in my life which just affected me in lots of ways. Good ways and bad ways to be honest. You know it brought in some down days, some depression days and stuff like that but it also gave me like a fresh start mentality when it was all over and made me look at things. Not made me look at things, it, it took a lot of weight off my shoulders that allowed me to feel some kind of sense of freedom um i know i'm kind of talking in riddles here but yeah <laughs> So I just had some crap happen and it had good sides and bad sides. I had good things that happened as well. I got to go to Vegas. I went to the 20 books to 50k Vegas conference which was amazing. I have wanted to go there for years. It was such a fantastic experience. I did make a video on that and that's one of my 2023 things because I recorded loads of videos and I just never had the time to upload them or to edit them and when I sat down I was like oh I hate this. Like I was hating a lot on myself. So I decided what I'm going to do is kind of scrap all those and start again recording so this is me with a new one and anything I've recorded previous will be scrapped so I did record a 20 books Vegas video to talk about that and it's kind of like been and gone because it talked all about nano so that was November but it was a fantastic time and if ever you get a chance to go to any of these conferences I really recommend them they are fantastic I met up with some friends there I made some new friends I learned a lot of things and one of my best things is I learned a lot of things I didn't know I needed to learn which has really helped to change my perspective for 2024 which I'll talk about when I'm talking about the future so that was amazing I also had another couple of trips to America through the year which were good we had family holiday that was really good although I was a little bit behind on jigsaw girls so I had to write on the holiday so that was a pain in the bum but I did it I did publish books which is great not as many as I like but I did write and finish and publish books so that's amazing and I also learned a new way of Facebook marketing which has been fantastic and so much as I had not the best writing year for sales because I was learning the Facebook marketing course has increased and the last quarter of the year I had amazing sales on my books using this Facebook marketing I if you've ever heard of Matthew J home he's got an amazing course on Facebook ads and I've been learning that and it's been brilliant and it's really helped me so yeah so there's lots of positives lots of negatives and lots of things learned but basically 2023 was excuse the language a shitstorm just like the weather here in the UK at the moment although it's not actually raining which is good while I'm sitting out here so I went out on New Year's Day with my husband we decided to go and sit in a coffee shop and do some planning and really have a look at what it was that I want to achieve and what my goals are and what my habits are that I want to do and what I want from my writing career. So we set two writing goals and 
a personal goal because the personal goal will support my mental health and well-being and then the two writing goals one is to do with my actual writing and all my books and all that and the other one is to do what I want to do with this channel so for my writing I have set myself the goal of six books so that is a book every two months which is completely doable and I have also set myself a goal of writing every single day even if it's only 100 words which is a huge drop in words that I would normally aim for I would normally aim for about 6,000 but I am allowing myself to sometimes only write 100 words a day if that's what it is as long as I open my manuscript put some words in goal met so as well as the books this is where I tend to overload myself and so i'm going to try not to do that this year but this year i want to start a ream subscription if you don't know what ream is it's kind of like patreon and wattpad came together and created something between them so it's where you can write stories readers can join they port you they can interact with the story they can leave comments and feedback and guesses and all that stuff and they can just be part of the writing process and so i am starting that for this year i'm going to write one story throughout the whole year and at the end of the year anyone who has been a Ream subscriber will get that book for free so whether they subscribe for just one month or they subscribe and support me for the whole time they will get the book for free at the end of it just for being supportive and so I have some fun plans with that for Nano if you saw my AI video I had yeah got AI to come up with a story idea for NaNoWriMo and then I ended up having to finish the book I was writing in November because it was late and had to put that book to the side but as a good outcome of that is the story stayed in my mind and it grew into something bigger and that's made me excited so I've decided that that story that the me and the AI kind of came up with which has now grown into my own story is going to be what I'm going to put on Ream I'm not going to publish it anywhere else but Ream it's going to be my passion project it's it's kind of a Cinderella story. I think the working title of it is going to be Once Upon a Demon and yeah hopefully you can figure it's going to be some kind of like paranormal story. I'll talk more about that another time but that is one of my plans is to start Ream a, cha a chapter a week, free book at the end and then whatever else I do with it but that's my goal for that and that feels doable. My other goal is to go through all the back matter of books I have out across my two pen names get all those fixed and sorted and uploaded get books into audio and I'm going to sell them direct on my own site so that they can be sold anywhere so that's one of my projects for this year this isn't all the first quarter by the way this is across the year that I'm talking about I've when I've done my planning on new year I've actually taken these big projects and split them down into where I want to be at the end of each quarter and also where I want to be at the end of each month it's so I'm not feeling some overwhelm well the other things I also want to do is stop worrying what others think that is one of the things that holds me back a lot when making a video because I will worry what anyone's thinking of me if anyone's watching the video and laughing or hating or whatever I let it hold me back when I'm talking about my books on social media I let it hold me back when I am going to conferences and talking to people so I decided my word of the year this year is going to be believe and that's because I'm going to believe in myself I'm going to spend a lot of time not worrying what anyone else is doing or what anyone else thinks of me and just get on with it I'm not going to go into all the social media drama that happens I'm just going to kind of protect myself in that way which I think is good and I need it but the other things I'm going to do is things like read more I'm going to work on downtime I'm going to work on filling my creative well because I can really feel that I need to do that and that's reading more gaming more taking time off one of my goals for myself for this year is to finish work by 6 p.m go to bed at 9 p.m so I have three hours there to game to hang out with the kids to just do all sorts of things that I want to do it's basically just to look after my mental health because I have a tendency to work 14 hours a day which does nobody any good especially when you're doing it seven days a week for my channel I'm going to my goal is to be more consistent is to put weekly videos up and I need to sit down and do an editorial calendar of what I want to talk about but this is why you've got this video here today because it's week one and I'm like I can't not post a video on week one when my goal is to post weekly so that's why it's just in the car and some of my videos may be in the car just because I live in an absolute busy household but it's it's the content that matters really not the location so yeah so that's that's my goals for 2024 is recap six six books my subscription back matter 
after audit, audio books, believing in myself, finishing work at 6 p.m. and posting weekly to this channel and keeping up with my social media because I have so much that I want to talk about and so much that I want to do and I just don't do it and I'm kind of my own worst enemy. So that's my goal. Let me know what your goals are and let me know how your 2023 went because like, like I said, mine was a disaster but I got through it. I learned a lot. I've grown a lot. It has left me quite excited to be honest for 2024 and I hope this is the year that I step into myself and achieve or get a good way into what I want to achieve. So yes, let me know about your 2023 and what your plans are for 2024 and however 2023 went for you, just know that you're here and that's what matters. Anyway, I shall see you next time. Don't forget to give this video a good old thumbs up, like and subscribe and it's going to start raining so I need to go before it makes a right racket on the car. See you later. Bye.